Okay, we're back. <clears throat> this is the chipboard or the piece of chipboard that we already worked on. You know that we've done the embossing and some of the um, gold leaf, um, not acrylic, but uh, enamel paint. And as I tried to crack it, um, it wouldn't because it wasn't cold enough. You know, it was melted and everything, and it was hard enough that it really needs to be like cold or um, really, really hard. So you can start doing the crack. So I put her in the freezer. I told you I was going to do that. And um, as soon as I got out of the freezer, the chipper was separating from the um, from the actual enamel of the UT. That's how you know that that's pretty. It's pretty cold already. That's a perfect time to start cracking. Um, and again, I said for you know for us to be careful. You can, you can see the whole thing could come out. So I'll show you what I like to do. And this may sound a little bit barbaric, and probably is. But sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, you do have big cracks, but we did a pretty thick embossing. Oh, there, there it goes. You just have to start on it in and, 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 and an area and just kind of follow from there. And it's harder because I've never used a stick chipboard and I was hoping it would work, but I think stick with uh, either medium or light. But it's, I'm, I'm going to make it work. Okay, so... I, I don't know if you can hear. There it is, the cracks. So you can really crack it good, but just kind of keep your hands on it. I mean, you can just crack the whole whole thing. Like there's a piece that, you know, just came out in there. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter for that. It can be painted over. But we want kind of a large um, mega fault into it, um, because that's where the um, alcohol ink is going to start sinking in and creating these variegated earth tones uh, patterns and you don't get those with a brush or even with a sponge it just doesn't it has to be kind of created naturally I want to crack it over here so we can really work at it and um, because we're going to seal this so even if it just looks like you just ruined it for a second there it is. We're going to, or there it is. We're going to cover this at the last minute with um, glossy accents in order to protect the pieces because you know we broke the heck out of them. So, so you can see them right there. You know, let's see. There, you can see the cracks right there. Okay, and we can do more later. But at this point, we're going to start uh, <clears throat> with the uh, with any colors. I'm just going to be imaginative here. And I just pick up um, alcohol inks, colors, um, randomly. I don't have any, you know, um, any, um, no pattern whatsoever. No, no choices on it. It's going, is the fact that when you, is when you put them together with other colors, that they start kind of sinking in. And I guess you could use your stains also, you know, the ones with the daver. I'm sure you could. I'm going to try those right now, but some of this ones just go really easy. And what I'm trying to create is um, no, 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 um, none of your projects on this one will be alike because, you know, it's how the crack goes and that's where the ink is going to be sinking in and that's what's going to determine um, the pattern. And I, as you notice, I'm not even touching the flower whatsoever yet. We will though. But I really want this outside to start sinking in. And we're going to do a little manipulation with it. Okay, I'm going to put some rain in it. You probably think, oh my god, what is she doing? She's going to rain that beautiful piece. Well, yeah, I am trying to ruin it, but the end result is beautiful. All right. Okay. So at this point, now this stings a lot because it's, you know, obviously, as you can tell, I'm just kind of wiggling it a little bit and having that those colors kind of sink in. And then I'm going to start moving it. So just, you know, let the, let the ink run wherever it goes. Even if it goes inside, it doesn't, inside the flower, it doesn't matter, okay? And you have to have a little bit of paper kind of close by. And at this time, I think I'm going to take some of this off. Because I think I'm going to start. Then we're going to go kind of single color one at a time. 
but you can tell what I'm going for already. Okay, so it's already getting there. Let's see, right there, right there. See that? See the cracks? The variegation of the colors is just amazing. Now we have pretty much, and it kind of looks, you know, the same everywhere at this point, and that is correct. The first layer that I do of colors, it's that way, and then I start putting, you know, one color at a time and different cracks, and it just creates a different effect. Do some blue there. And then I start getting really close to where the crack areas are at. I'll use this nice blue. There's a nice little crack in here. Well, in there. There. There's one right there. Let's work. Let's utilize those cracks right there. And we're going to start wiggling it again. Make sure all the liquid kind of see seeps into the, the enamel is not going to get it. Actually, what's what's being colored is that the chipboard that you, um, that you see. At this point, I'm going to start working it with my hand too. You know, you could use gloves if you wanted to. I don't have any issues with that, but I'm not going to do it. So it just takes too much of the fun out of it for me. And, um, I don't know. All right, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous right there? So the inside part already looks really, um, it's starting to look really bland or white. Um, I am going to get a color that is not really deep. And this is salmon, I think, yeah, alcohol ink. And the, um, I want to color the whole thing in here. And this is to draw in some of the colors that I have on the edges. Because I definitely don't want to go straight. You see, you can hardly see it, and I'm already putting it everywhere. But once you wet it, and you can accomplish, if you didn't have uh, this this light color, you could use the, um, the alcohol blend solution. Um, and I'll give you a little tip on that. I'm sure other people have used that tip too. I don't always buy that. You can just get, um, you know, rubbing alcohol from the, you know, pharmacy, and that works just as well. Okay, so I feel like you have to have that blending. But I, I do have it. But you know, if I ran out of it, there is a solution to it. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just trying to let the the water or the liquid. Uh, follow, you know, the path, um, the path of le least uh, resistance to it, and it's pulling in or bleeding, let, letting the colors from the outside kind of bleed in a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to start kind of rubbing it with my hand inside, just to kind of unify the outside with the flower. I don't want my thumbprint in it right there, so I'm gonna just kind of tap it to create this different effect. See that right there? I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let me see if you can see it right there. Alright, so now you can see how we obtain these colors. I use a lot more green on this one because that's the color that I that I really wanted. But we can definitely still, you know, add some more. But this is the last step that we're going to do. I actually do put some colors into some some of the some of the patterns. Like I know this is the leaf right here. That's a button, so I'm not going to touch that. Um, and let's see if I have purple in here. I know I had it. Give me a second. Well, I think I think I'm lying to you. I don't. I can't find the purple. I thought I had it. But anyways, we're gonna use this blue a little bit here. Not that a little bit doesn't. So I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit into these petals. Can you see that? It looks kind of ugly that way, but it'll start to um, move around, and that's where the magic happens. So, and at this point, we'll put a little bit, just because I want to variegate that color into the whole petals, and let the liquid just kind of go everywhere there where the flower is at. So this is the alcohol um, blending solution, you know that. Kim Hall sells and like I said if I don't have that you can still use some um, any alcohol uh, rubbing alcohol like from any pharmacy okay so you, you can see the wetness how it's still there it's still moving
See, I color the leaves in here. That's the button of the flower and then the flower itself. Now at this point, because it is alcohol um, ink, um, I think I'm going to add this green, a little bit of darkness in this. There's some areas that I want to have kind of, you know, on the dark side. Okay. Just let the let the natural pattern of the liquid, you know, kind of run where it needs to run. Don't be too too careful with that. It creates kind of a mosaic, kind of a stained glass technique look. Um, all right, so I am going to quickly dry this because it is alcohol ink. It takes nothing, okay? And if you notice, I'm not, I don't have it right on top because I, I want enough heat just to evaporate the alcohol and the liquid, not to melt my uh, project. All right, look at this. Is this gorgeous or what? I think it is. I love it. So this is a tile that is ready to be used. Um, I do want to put just a tiny bit more gold just to you know, give, give it that uh, very rich look or effect. Oh yeah. That is definitely going to do it. Look at that. I'm going to go over this flower here and this petals really it's just random no wherever you feel like putting a little bit of that gold and whatever I have left in my hand I just kind of you know use it on the edges just to it kind of marries the whole project in and uh, I mean you don't have to I'm just saying that it could and that it's and that you can do whatever you want remember we can choose all right, so here you go. All right, so, so little you need of that um, gold leaf. But look at the end result. Let me put it under this um, under this white, no longer clean canvas, but at least it's white so you can see it really well. There you go, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? I really think it is. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, maybe that's, there. See if I can switch it this way. It's not gorgeous. The details on that is absolutely astronomical. Now, um, I'm going. There's two projects that I'm going to be, you know, working on with this style. I'm going to do a like an album. So this would be the book covers for. Can you imagine seeing something like this? And the other one would be, as I told you before at the beginning of this um, tutorial, uh, this is a canvas that this canvas precise that um, I have on my project this one right here we're going to be using it for a canvas so we're going to be doing we're going to add these tiles to it uh but we're going to be doing other things to it so it's, it'll be kind of um i'm not going to say steampunk but it definitely mixed media okay so um we'll take it up there and i hope you did like this tutorial so thanks so much and uh, let me know how you like it okay take care bye